Scenic Gallery are proud sponsors of UK Wedding TV. In today's show, we'll be getting some winter wedding tips from the Mr. and Mrs. team at their wedding fair. We'll be chatting to expert cake designers Samantha and Kerry about customising your winter wedding cake. And finally, we meet married couples Sarah and David. They decided on tying the knot during the winter, but their wedding couldn't have been whiter as heavy snowfall resulted in some last minute changes. Would they recommend it? We'll find out later in the show. Welcome everybody to Mr. and Mrs. and White Wedding Fair. Um, here, I'm here with the team today with a lot of exhibitors, um, lots of inspiration for brides out there. This is our designer Jack over at the magazine. This is my sales manager Heather, my co-events organiser Katie and Michelle, my resident photographer. So obviously with the biggest inspiration of today's wedding fair was looking at winter inspired weddings. Obviously the woodland theme, the white, the snow. Obviously I think every bride, if they're getting married in the winter, do wish for snow, but it's obviously not guaranteed in this country. So the biggest importance is bringing those bits and pieces that make it that winter feel without having obviously snow on certain things. So we've tried to really incorporate that from dresses to makeup to, you know, arriving on the day. Um, we've got loads obviously to do, so we're gonna get out there, get and meet with the brides, but also then, you know, interact with the exhibitors as well, see what's going on. wedding is to have plenty of sparkles on your dress to catch the light it can be a little bit dark in the winter time also make sure that you go for something with a nice bit of volume just so that you're the bride you're the center of attention for the day and then lastly think about something to perhaps cover your shoulders just to keep the chill away okay and I'm advising the same thing lots of sparkle in your hair lots of volume and think about something secure for your day and especially if you are wearing something on your shoulders think of something that is out your way so your hair's not pushing and falling out. So to start off with a vintage look for winter we would start off with a base coat so that's choosing your foundation. Um, the foundation is matched to the client's skin tone. Um, I have a wide range of foundations within my kit that I would match to the client. Um, quite often People like a sort of a shimmer and a glow in winter because obviously it's cold and they want to look still a bit summery in a sense. They want to look like they've still got their summer tan. So we do the base coat with a bit of bronzer on the cheeks and then all over. And then we top that off with blusher. Then well, if we're going with the vintage theme, the vintage is uh, very subtle. So it's not necessarily eyeshadow. It is literally just liquid liner in a flick. So you can have many different flicks, depending on what you'd like. Some people like thin liner, some people like thick. Um, a lot of people, if they have the Victory Rolls hairstyle, so it's all sort of up and out the way, um, it looks really nice to have sort of like a subtle flick so that when they look down, all you can see is the eyeliner. Um, what we'd then do is we would outline the lips and then do a, a lipstick with a gloss over the top. To go with the vintage look, we quite often use red because um, it stands out and it just looks absolutely stunning in winter. So we would do red liner and then over the top a red lipstick and then either a clear gloss or something with a little bit of a shimmer. So 
how does a winter wedding, in terms of photography, how does that differ from a summer wedding? Because we see a lot of kind of, I see a lot of summer wedding photography. Um, but I was wondering, from your experience as a photographer, what, what a winter wedding is, is like? Well, the first thing you've obviously got issues with is light, because you haven't got yeah. the expanse of light that you get in the summer. It's also different in, in light and terms as well, because light changes through, some, through seasonal changes. Um, but generally, it's about time, and it's about planning. So yeah. if a bride comes to me and says, well, you know, we're getting married December the 27th, you know, the first thing I will say is, well, what time are you getting married? And if they say 3 o'clock, obviously, like, straight away, I'm thinking about night situations, because by 3 o'clock at winter, you know, yeah. we're losing a lot of light, and the days are much, much shorter. So what takes precedence for the winter wedding is the venue, really. Um, you have to think about your venue a lot more, because it might be that it's raining or it's snowing, or, you know, you can't necessarily take a whole group of people outside. So your formal shots may have to be taken inside. So you okay. need to make sure there's a room big enough. Thanks for speaking to us, Michelle. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the fair today. What are the key points that you would say that you would incorporate into a winter wedding? And what are the sort of trends? You know, brides, are they coming in mind with something that they've seen really, really popular at the moment that's in trend, there's themes that are out there for 2014 coming in? Woodland and rustic are still really prominent. Um, obviously, when you go into the sort of winter months, you have to be able to kind of dress them up slightly. So you can't keep it so basic. You do have to put some more sort of soft fabrics into it and that kind of thing. Um, what I would say is with a winter wedding, you just want to make sure that you aren't overdoing it. So you take a base floral arrangement or you take a base design and base chair covers and you put hints of Christmas and hints of winter into it. Um, that way it's not going to overpower things, but it will still, you know, look and feel will be absolutely winter through. And it's white wedding today, so is it all white wedding though? Or when you were saying about Christmas, is it reds, gold? Is there other colours that are thrown in with winter weddings? It's a mix, it's a mix. You get people, predominantly the core colour is whites and ivories, um, but again, the classic Christmas colours, golds, burgundies and reds will always be there. Um, and also venues will include things like Christmas trees at, this, at that time of year, so you've got to be able to incorporate the kind of Christmas tree colours into what you do yourself with the room. It's quite a big focal point, isn't it? Absolutely, it draws the eye, and so you've got to be able to like pull the colours from your venue's tree and your venue's decoration into the rest of your arrangements. Some great advice there. Lots to consider when planning a winter wedding, but all worth it, I'm sure. Recently, I was lucky enough to visit the Iced Cake Parlour in South Wales. Owners, Samantha and Kerry, kindly let me in on a few secrets on how to make the wedding cake tie in with the winter wedding theme. Here with Kerry and Sam. Um, would you like to introduce this this lovely yes. creature here? Um, his name is Sven, Sven. and that's Olaf. Olaf. So this is sort of breaking traditions of, of normal cake making, really. You yeah. know, instead of the tiered, people can opt for something as amazing and as extravagant as this. What what are the trends that people are going? Do you think people are breaking traditions now? Do you think yeah. you know they're opting for things other than that tier cake? Yes. A lot of people are moving away now from the round or squared tiered cakes and they, they are going for more themed weddings and this would fit in perfect with the winter wonderland that, that would be spot themed on, wedding. Yeah, <laughs> I think with a little bit of humour and quite whimsical. Okay. Um, I know lots of alternative weddings um, are becoming trendy at the moment um, uh, with like naked wedding cakes and teepees and um, you know something <laughs> you know, out of the box really. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is obviously one of the many ideas that you can have for your wedding. Should we go and discuss more ideas for cakes, um, for the flavours and colours and things like that? Yeah. 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 Have you yeah. got any cakes to show me as well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Let's go and have a look. So how, how would a bride and groom approach building a specialist wedding cake for the big day? Well, any good cake designer um, will invite the client in mm -hmm. for a tasting session and um, a consultation um, where you get to know uh, the personality um, whether the wedding cake designer would, would get to know the, the client's personality yeah. and discuss things like uh, venue and the dress design and colors 
um, and from there um, a wedding cake can be designed. Mm -hmm. What about the different colours and, and heights and obviously size is no limitation but, no. Um, sometimes when it comes to wedding cakes. Mm -hmm. um, but thinking about the, the size of the venue, is it important mm -hmm. to get the right size yeah. for a cake? Generally, the bride and the groom would have chosen their venue and their colour scheme before they come in and have their consultation. Right. That's, that's one of the necessities really, that they've got um, the venue sorted and they roughly know how many guests are come in to know how large or small of a cake they need right. and the theme the theme is generally you know picked so when they come in then they they kind of roughly got an idea mm -hmm. of what they want and what they would like and where it's going so what should a couple consider when choosing a winter themed wedding cake what sort of colors and things can they have on it to make it stand out the i say the most typical styles really the two most typical styles are um traditional where um, they go for um, red roses, berries, holly, um, and go for you know, a tiered cake. Okay. Or um, if they want to go along the winter wedding route, um, loads of glitter, cool snowflakes. Yeah. Make it look cool a bit colours, frosty yeah. with all yeah. royal ice. Royal ice yeah. Yeah. I know so metallic, metallic colours are really fashionable at the moment. So that seems quite popular yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, and also the, the ruffles and the lace is also. Um, you know quite trendy at the moment as well. Join us after the break where we'll continue talking to Samantha and Kerry and then I'll be joined by married couple Sarah and David who received an early wedding gift on the morning of their December wedding but was it a help or a hindrance? Stay tuned to find out. Scenic Gallery are proud sponsors of UK Wedding TV. The Smarter Bride the Smarter Bride is a brand new online bridal website and wedding directory, connecting brides and grooms with the UK's very best wedding venues and suppliers, with our blog, forum and wedding directory, as well as lots of hints, tips and inspirational ideas, planning your wedding has never been easier. We also offer a bespoke wedding planning and venue styling service. The Smarter Bride, the smarter way to plan your wedding day. Www thesmarterbride.co.uk Miss to Mrs magazine is a full colour glossy magazine designed to inspire wedding planners with a range of exciting ideas that makes that big day even bigger. We thrive on giving couples the best possible ideas and advice for their special day. Offering outstanding features throughout the magazine each and every month to help you find everything you could possibly need for your wedding. Brides, subscribe now or if interested in advertising, please email katherine at mrmrsmagazine.com. They say that some places create a sense of magic. We believe St Mary's does just that. Nestled in 150 acres of Welsh countryside, the 16th century farmhouse retains its old world charm with beamed ceilings, thick stone walls and the Lovelock bridal suite in the rafters make it a perfect place to celebrate your marriage. Visit our website for details of our packages and bespoke weddings www.stmaryshotel.com Scenic Gallery are proud sponsors of UK Wedding TV. So when choosing a, a winter wedding cake, what, what are the different flavours you could go for to tie in with the theme of the wedding? Rich fruit cake soaked in any alcohol that they require. <laughs> lovely. Um, lovely red velvet with cream cheese topping, um, apple and cinnamon. Cinnamon is a common thing yes, around Christmas, it, Christmas and winter Christmas time. time yeah. mm -hmm. um, salted caramel sponge. I'm like it's rumbling, let's enjoy all these. <laughs> yeah, a nice black forest. Yeah, mm -hmm. black That'll cherry filling. Yeah. It's quite fashionable at the moment, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Have yeah. you ever done a mince pie cake before? Actually, yes. yes, one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Brilliant. yeah. Brilliant. A brandy butter cream. Yeah. That'd be yeah, something I'd like to try. Popular, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Well, that could that could work in a winter wedding. Yeah. A giant giant Definitely. mince pie yeah. wedding cake. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Try something different. So, Kerry, you mentioned um, traditional wedding cakes. Um, now, a lot of these are, are tiered cakes, and you've got yeah. one here on display. What what's this one? Tell us about this one. Uh, well, this is more along the traditional um, stacked wedding cake. Okay. Um, each tier can be a different flavored sponge or fruit cake. Um, 
the it's, it's more of a winter wedding themed cake because you've got the berries and the greenery it's gorgeous with the, the glitter roses. as well yeah on top of and that. there's all glitter and there's gold leaves all through it um so this is more of a traditional wedding cake okay and, and the writing can be yeah. personalized yeah, to the couple? it can be personalized it's, you know it makes it a little bit quirky really that's a nice little, idea you know a little bit more personalised then. That's lovely, it's oh. gorgeous. But of course it doesn't have to be yeah. a tiered cake, it can be part of the display of, mm. of the wedding itself. Yeah. You know, the, the reindeer you have on display in the window, that just shows how much a cake can stand out really yeah, and yeah. be part yeah. of, of the wedding. So in terms of winter themed wedding, what could they have that, that would really stand out for when people enter the venue? Um, something like a window. Mm -hmm. um, a window display is perfect really for that wow factor. If you want everyone talking about your cake, Mm -hmm. um, if you know you want you want a lot of brides and grooms want their wedding cakes now to be a focal point yes um, of yeah. the wedding and you know they they spend a lot of time designing it and yeah. you know they want it to be that special oh, you know cake for that special you know occasion so there's so many things to consider when choosing a cake for your wedding so many different options what what are your top tips um, in general for a couple to get their cake brilliant for the big day? Um, first of all, um, make sure that you read all the reviews about your chosen um, cake designer. Um, make sure you go there um, for your tasting sessions so you have a good taste of the variety of the flavours. Mm -hmm. Look through their port portfolio, um, see what they've created. Um, have a look on the uh, social media sites for all the feedback from previous brides good rapport with yeah. you i think that's important really of course, yeah. so they get you they get yeah. your personality so that comes across yeah. in the cake as well yeah yeah uh, it's very so important on yeah. tasting sessions getting married in the winter can be truly magical let's speak to couple sarah and david who experienced a white winter wedding in the heart of december Sarah and David who decided to tie the knot in December for a winter wedding. So where did the ceremony actually take place? It was in a local church and um, it was actually the church that I was baptised in. I then went to the primary school that was linked to the parish church so it was our church. My nan um, got married there, my mum got married there so it just felt like the right place really yeah. to have the wedding That's ceremony. Right, yeah. In terms of weather, did you prepare for what actually <laughs> happened? Because I know things took a bit of a turn the night before, didn't yeah. they? Tell us what happened. Well, we hadn't really planned for snow. Snow, yeah. Maybe rain, but definitely not snow. Yeah, but we... uh, the day before, it just, we went to St. Three's and it just started snowing, didn't it? So we went, went in, done a little last bit of shopping before the wedding. And we came back up to the car and the car was just covered. <laughs> and then we'd so, made the trip down to the wedding venue then where yeah. we were having the reception just to check everything was still all right there end um, and that they could still get the caterers yeah. in and things like that. That's right. Um, and then I just remember um, saying our goodbyes, you went home, I stayed then in my nan's house for the night and I just sat up most of the night just <laughs> watching the snow fall and thinking, please stop, it's lovely to have snow but we've still got to get married because yeah. <laughs> everything was paid for, everything was booked. So yeah. you didn't have any beauty sleep the night before then? <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> no. not, definitely <laughs> lo lots of makeup done on the day. <laughs> so how did that affect your planning? Were, were people stranded? Could everybody make it to the wedding? Yeah, to be honest, it did go quite well, didn't it? Everybody yeah. made the wedding. I mean, my nan's phone in the morning was like a hotline with everybody. <laughs> Is the wedding still on? And then my nan was phoning various people. Are you still able to make it? The musicians, are you still able to make it? to yeah. the church the band for the evening and all those sorts of things yeah. um my wedding cars were able to make yeah. it weren't they it was just mine your way because i'd done when it's a surprise yeah. wasn't able to make it so our photographer ended up in his four by four going to pick david yeah. because we'd had a phone call from dave how am i getting to the church <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so our photographer went to pick dave up and the best man and took them to the church mm. so it was a bit hairy a lot of stress added to the morning of getting ready mm. um but I think in the whole, everybody got there safely, which is the main thing. Everybody had a lovely day. Yeah. And the weather was, it was just perfect, really, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. Yeah, <laughs> nice blue sky. 
So you went from the ceremony to the castle ruins of Neath Abbey. What a beautiful place. <laughs> That's where you had the photographs done, yes? Yeah. Yeah. It was nice to have some outdoor shots, wasn't yeah, it, of the day? Yeah, with beautiful blue yeah. sky and, uh, you know, white everywhere, so... Yeah. So how did you um, make the photographs quite fun? Um, how did you, you and your photographer, work together to do that with the snow? And how did you incorporate we, that we in any way? We threw a couple of snow, snowballs at the cameraman, <laughs> so that was a bit of fun. I think Lovely. we just, I think with the stress of the morning, we just wanted to have fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, I wasn't hung up about my dress getting a bit wet or a bit dirty and yeah. you know, you only wear the dress once so, and I think that was a big thing for us was just to go and have some fun yeah. in the snow. Um, so you know, we had snowball fights and we've got um, some pictures of us sort of walking and kicking our way through yeah, the snow yeah. and things like that. So really we just wanted to have a bit of fun in it, didn't fun, we? Yeah. Because you know, that was our day and you know, we were blessed I suppose yeah. <laughs> by having lots of snow falling so we just wanted to have fun in it. Obviously, in the winter, temperature, you have to consider that. How did you prepare to, for everybody to keep warm, your guests um, and yourselves as well? What, what, did you, what procedures did you take? Well, we didn't really prepare for the snow. Um, that really came as a shock for us, yeah. didn't it? Um, but hey-ho, we went with it. We had a lovely day in the end. Um, but, you know, because I had young bridesmaids, it was really important for me that they had tights on. So we went with white tights because their dresses were white. They had cardigan, little stoles, little bridesmaids gloves. Because I wanted them in photos outdoors, <laughs> of course, you, you've got to keep them happy as well. So it was really important to sort of think about um, their clothing, the cardigans, the stoles. And, of course, they were all matching as well, which was great. Um, for myself... Um, I did think of, you know, a big thick cloak, but then with the dress, I didn't want to sort of mask that and cover up. I still wanted people to see my dress as well. Yeah. Um, so I went for sort of like um, a thin shimmery sort of cloak. So I had something over my arms to stop the chill. Um, but I think with the adrenaline of the day, it just sort of carries you along yeah. and with all the weight of the dress anyway, it wasn't too bad, was it? No. And I think you were all right in your suit. Yeah, quite... Uh... <laughs> so I was fine. You had a few extra yeah. layers in your suit, did you? Yeah, yeah. But one thing I didn't prepare for were my wellies. <laughs> yeah. We went, we frantically rushed out the day before when we saw the snow coming down. I said, if I can't wear my shoes in this weather, so we quickly rushed out and got a pair bright of pink bright pink wellies. wellies. I think I would have gone for red if I had time to prepare. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to go, to go with everything. Yeah. yeah. But pink was the colour we found, yeah. so I had bright pink wellies on, which were a godsend. No, I can imagine. <laughs> You've got to be practical in you, you know. Yeah. And you're still going to look great no matter what. So. Really <laughs> under my dress. Yeah, it's fine. They're well hidden. <laughs> so everything considered, <laughs> I personally think the snowball's a blessing for your wedding. Um, yeah. What do you think your sort of tips or advice that you'd give to a potential um, couple planning their wedding now? What, what, what things should they consider before planning a winter wedding? Well, it's a lovely time of year yeah. to get married, isn't it? But be prepared um, for yeah. any sort of weather. You yeah. know, Expect the it's, unexpected. Yeah. It? I mean, rain or snow. That's right, because we yeah. sort of anticipated rain more than yeah. anything. So we'd bought um, white umbrellas for guests from the church to the minibus and that mm. sort of thing. We'd bought bride and groom umbrellas because yeah. we thought oh, well, we could have fun with those having photographs and things like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Even though we didn't need them in the end. Um, it was useful to think of those sorts of things because yeah. guests might not necessarily bring an umbrella with them. And they yeah. might all have different colours, so it's nice <laughs> to right. match, match yeah. the white, theme. Just white. Right. <laughs> right, yeah. um, and obviously with the young bridesmaids, it was the clothing they were wearing. They had the flat shoes, the full... Um, because obviously it was a winter wedding, they didn't have strappy sandals. They mm -hmm. had full shoes and mm -hmm. um, tights and cardigans and gloves and things like that. So that was really important to think there. How far in advance do you think they should book the venue? Because obviously, especially December, that's a very busy month mm -hmm. <laughs> for, for everywhere. Really. I suppose it all depends. The venue that um, they like and they want to choose, obviously, yeah. because you know most popular venues get booked up um, mm -hmm. yeah. quite a bit but in advance. You've got to be quite careful with Christmas parties, obviously. Around yeah. the December time yeah. as well. Yeah. So. Is it worth asking the place whether they'll take on Christmas parties for the same night? Yeah. So it's yeah, best to secure yeah. the Definitely. menu just for yourselves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's been lovely talking to you both, Sarah and David. I hope married life has been treating you well so yeah. far. <laughs> You're still together. That's a good yeah. sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been lovely meeting you, and I wish you all the very best for your married life. And yeah. Good luck, have a Thanks lovely so Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's all we have time for today. But if you want to get involved in the show or have your wedding featured, head on over to the UK Wedding TV website and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest information. From all the team here, thanks for watching.